this is Eric Mwad with Mwad.com. All is well. Let's take a look at instruments that generally don't go together or at least we assume that they have no relationship in terms of tracking one another. Let's take a look at Tesla and we're going to be taking a look at Tesla in relationship to cryptos. And we're going to take a look at BTC. Oh, this is for August 17th. And we can see BTC and Ethereum trading at these levels right here. So all of them are moving higher today. I want to show you how the three charts, Tesla, Bitcoin, and Ethereum, look similar in terms of their short-term setup. Now, all right, let's begin here with Ethereum. We can see an intraday high of about 447. But this is coming at the expense of a decline in the RSI. As you can see, prices have gone higher intraday, but there's a decline of the RSI. And actually, I should mention here, more importantly, we are seeing the RSI being rejected around RSI 61.8. My own research has shown me that this tends to be the strongest type of negative divergence. What that means is that we seem to have run out of short-term energy. Now, having said that, really, for there to be a big drop, as I've been mentioning in a lot of my recent general market observation videos, the RSI needs to break these lows. And this is the four hourly for all of these instruments. So the RSI would need to break below this line connecting recent four hourly RSI lows. That is a requirement before we can see any major drop in the cryptos. Right now, we're just seeing early signs of a pullback. It could be a shallow pullback, especially if they just pull back and find support on this line and start coiling higher you'd expect higher highs but right now we are seeing some type of negative divergence as far as ethereum is concerned let's take a look at btc of course we can see btc has pushed here to an intraday high over the last couple of let's say within the hour at 12474 is the high and again we can see this is coming with a decline of the rsi so clearly that is negative divergence we can start looking for a possibility of a pullback around here again with the understanding that all pullbacks are going to be shallow until we break this rsi lows line whenever we do that's when one can consider going short just because you see negative divergence does not mean an instrument is to be sold it just means that running out of short-term energy Remember that if we pull back, for example, and bounce on this red line and coil up, that would mean higher highs. So you have to understand that. So if you're looking, let's say, to sell, it would need a break of a short-term trend line, which would be the four hourly RSI lows. So moving higher intraday is a possibility because it hasn't lost momentum. And again, because we haven't broken any major trend now let's take a look at the last instrument which is tesla and we can see today it is attacking this high here just under if not at 1800 give or take so right now we can see that it is attempting to move higher in fact on a four hourly closing basis it is closing or close at a fresh all-time four hourly closing price level so that's an improvement in price highs but this is coming with the rsi showing a slight decline if not a decline of some level keep in mind right now tesla has been rejected or showing signs of being rejected remember this is playing out so the more this holds this means that this is being rejected at the at and around the 69.1 threshold that tends to be the second strongest sell in terms of negative divergence by the way based on this four hourly closing high right there and we give that a price level of about let's call it 1750 which is this hourly closing high right there that would be the level to watch why because should we drift lower and find ourselves trading below 
that price level, that would be a short-term failed breakout and a reason to be defensive. Now let's understand also like we saw with the cryptos, it's going to take a break of the RSI lows. This line here would have to break before we can see a major plunge in the cryptos. Excuse me, not the cryptos, but in Tesla and the cryptos. So yes, we are seeing potential early signs. In fact, it has just turned positive again. So still playing out, it might eventually have enough energy to move the RSI above 69.1. If it does, then Tesla is going to have superior momentum and it's going to take out this all-time intraday high. At any rate, the exercise of this educational video is to show you how seemingly unrelated markets tend to be actually, from time to time, very synchronized. This is Eric Mwadet, Mwadet com. Love and light, light and love. Namaste.